Hey, you're joining my hike. I love it. It's gonna be a good one. I'm excited you're here. Let me see if there's room for you first. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, we got room for you today. It's gonna be a good one. We are hiking in Fryman Canyon. This leads down to the valley, also known as tree people up at this top part. I've never seen uh, tree people, but I guess they're around. Sometimes I'm uh, called a tree because I'm very tall. A lot of people don't realize how tall I am. Or they'll say, I forgot how tall you were. I know, sometimes I forget too. Like when I get up in the morning, I'm shocked. You know, I say, whoa, get me down from here. Whoa, this is too high. <laughs> but it's a great canyon. We're gonna have a great hike today. Grab a candy bar, grab your shoes, your flip flops, whatever you wear. Sit back, relax, and let's have at it. We're going for a hike. Okay, so far I have seen no tree people. We'll keep our eyes open for them though. My hiking companion today, my compadre, my wingman, you will surely recognize. Oh man, is this guy talented. He's won tons of awards, Emmys, Golden Globes, Screen Actor Guild's Award. Uh, he's a tremendous actor. He was a teen idol when he first started out with movies like The Outsiders, St. Elmo's Fire, About Last Night. Um, I was never a teen idol. I'm an adult idol now, I guess, yeah. But he's written books, love life, stories I tell my friends. He was on Parks and Rec, and also he was roasted. So hopefully there's something left of him for today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we are hiking with Mr. Rob Lowe. Is it hard being Rob Lowe? No. It's good. Because it's, it's, it's hard being me, man. I, it's, it's hard really being It's really hard, yeah, yeah. Who do you think's a nicer person, you or your brother Chad? Chad Lowe's the nicest person in show business. so nice, man. So Isn't nice. he nice? Yeah. He's the best. Do you ever watch your old movies and get upset about how you've never changed? You still look the same. <laughs> <laughs> you got like one gray hair here. That's it's it. my. Uh, I still have my Oxford. Uh, well, I got a facelift right after Oxford Blues. I read an IMDb that in your early movies, you were known as being the. Um, um, what did they say it was? Asshole. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Do you think it's harder for uh, someone that's handsome or good looking to be funny? Like you did a great job on Parks and Rec. Oh, thanks. It's like, well, it's a like Cary Grant was like yeah. you know, hilarious. And he was. And never really got a ton. You know, Cary you know, never won an Oscar. He never really got a ton of credit. Well, neither did I. There's, well, there's time. <laughs> the young <Yeah>. man still. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm not a teen idol though, there's like not, you were. No, count your blessings. What was it like being a teen idol? Did you know you were a teen idol? Uh, oh yeah, you can't. There's no denying it. I mean, you're like, it's it's crazy stuff. It's crazy. You know, it's it's you know the, the power of the estrogen flowing through a 13 year old girl who meets her their their favorite stars is a power. If you could harness that, we could get off fossil fuels. And do you remember the day that you stopped being a teen idol? When they start calling you Mister. Not not to say that my my demographic might be aging. But I went to the Eagles concert. By the way, that in and of itself tells yeah. you everything you need to know. Yeah. But a woman came up to me and she said, I just had to come over here. I even took off my oxygen. I'm just gonna <laughs> take a picture with you. <laughs> what actor do you think is handsome? You can't say me. The way, okay. the way in which I look at it is like, who do I want to look at? Yeah. Right, who do I want to look at? I want to look at Michael Fassbender. Really? Yeah, dude, he's a stud. <laughs> uh, he's Daniel, hot. James Bond, Daniel Which, Craig. Daniel Craig. Um, Those guys are all ripped. They're ripped. Um, they're not spring chickens. Do you get any of those magazines like Fitness or... Um, have you ever been on the cover of those oh, I only get the ones I've been on the cover of. <laughs> so Reader's Digest. Re yes, um, AARP. AARP. <laughs> when you do the red carpet now, everybody's asking you about inappropriate comments other people have said, like Chevy Chase or Owen McDonald. It used to be what? It's it's like, like, what are you wearing? Well, they yeah. never ask guys what they're wearing. Ever. They don't. They don't. Because guys don't get excited about their outfits. Care. You know, oh, I'm wearing a... Um... And you're not supposed to ask the, uh, the gals what they're wearing now either. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's, t it's objectifying. Oh, okay. What are you wearing today, by the way? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm wearing, uh, uh, from my men's skincare line, just a shameless plug t-shirt. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Profile. Because I, I can't wear it to the Emmys. Your skin is amazing. Thank you. What do you do? What do you what do you put on it? I put on profile breasts. Profile breasts. 
from no, Rob Lowe. Seriously, I mean, but you weren't always using that. Um, well, look, you know what it is, is you realize, you wake up one day and you're in your 50s and you realize that you've had professionally people taking care of you your whole yeah. life. I've been doing it since I'm 15, so. You still have people changing you? They change me, they wipe me. <laughs> oh. look, at the, look at you so fancy. This is very tree of life. You've got, you've yeah. like a Terrence Malick yeah. thing going on here. It's kind of St. Elmo's fire right it's, there. It is, huh? isn't it? I like yeah. this, it's good. Well, I, I, are you wearing a heart monitor? No. You don't like take your like heart rate while you do this? Just for fun no. to see like. I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I don't want to <laughs> But I am keeping track of my steps. You are? In my head. So if it looks like I'm not listening to you. You just count. I'm just counting. 1,000, 2,000. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Do you wear a heart monitor? Um, I do, I do when I work out, but, and I thought about doing it here, but I figured, I'm with Neil, and how hard could this be? Do you worry about your health? Uh, I mean, I mean. Because you're what, like 73 now? Um, yeah, well, 80, 82. 82. Listen, I still, you know, try to eat as well as I can, but I just went ballistic last night. My, my sons were home for the weekend. Oh, yeah. One o'clock in the morning, they come knocking on the door, like, Dad, we just ordered jalapeno pepperoni pizza. <laughs> It's here, you want some? It's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. I've been asleep for four hours. I wake up, go down, and just mold. I'm in, baby. I'm in. Mold. <laughs> this is great. I want to do all my interviews like this. Honestly, I would you do every every it. interview ever. I would do. I would love like to do Jimmy Fallon and get his ass out here. And, you think there are mountain lions around here, by the way? There are mountain lions. I'm sure that there actually are. Yeah. What did you have for breakfast this morning? You know, the titillating questions that I expected on this mm -hmm. are just not happening. Did you not, you weren't able to prepare for that question? No, I, I, you stumped me. <laughs> um, I had uh, scrambled eggs and bacon. bacon What's course. happening? Hello, you guys look fit. Why do you never oh, thank you. She's talking to me. I got it. Can I get yeah. a selfie with yeah, you? Yeah, let's do it. Seriously, we were just talking about today, yes, right? And I'm star. doing the hike. Rob's a teen idol. That's so cute. So, is it hard to be sober? No, it's, it, it might have been hard. Well, it was for sure hard deciding to do it. And then I would say the first six months was not like, you know, you, the first like sober 4th of July. What? Yeah. First sober New Year's. What? First sober weekend. <laughs> first sober day. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, you know, I was lucky for me after that, it was, it was kind of easy but that you know I did the work I continued to work yeah. on it and do the other things you need to do because just getting sober is obviously that's not enough right that's true hey you you got roasted on Comedy Central yes that would terrify it was me. the best did you was the best jump on it when they asked you? oh yeah and but I did run it by my family yeah and my kids were like hell yes immediately you have to and then Cheryl Lowe my wife was like you are not doing that yeah. They're going to humiliate you. They're going to make you look horrible in front of the nation. I was like, honey, that ship has sailed. <laughs> that has sailed a long time ago. Um, but, you and know, we the, had a, I had a blast. Those comics are ruthless. Some They're of them, so though. good. They're, some of them are good and some of them are mean, though. You but know? Look, here, my thing is I, I, love, I love that forum and yeah. people who can sit there and take it and then turn around and rip the shit out of them are my heroes. So I yeah. wrote stuff that I was going to turn out on them. Yeah. It was so eviscerating that as they were going off on me I was happy yeah. because I, I knew what I had coming yeah. up. What's going on with that necklace? So this is my, my wife Cheryl. And the, all the uh, Vegas Okay so here's what's happening. So my wife is a very successful um, jewelry designer. Cheryl Lowe Designs. Mm -hmm. She's in Neiman Marcus and online and all, she's killing it. So I'm wearing this is this is her, she made this for me. There's little boxing gloves. Yeah. This is my original wedding ring. Why the boxing gloves? You guys always fighting? Because we're always fighting. Yeah. Nice. So you have the skincare cream line. She's got the jewelry. Yep. You guys are running an empire. I mean, we're not the Kardashians. If you could just kind of transgender. Some people think I have. Did you ever think that maybe you might be a woman? Um did you ever have a beard? Can you grow a beard? Yeah. When you grow a beard, does it come in white or gray? I have no comment. Do you think you look good from the back? Do you think we're going to see a Sasquatch on this trail? No, but we're looking for tree people. Yeah, where are those people? I wish there were tree people. It would make me so happy. You're a good actor, Rob. Show me your concerned look. I was already doing it. <laughs> the whole hike. That's concerned. Isn't it? What I, what I really think I'm good at is I have three looks to deal with 
on the red carpet. Iconic. They're waiting for to interview. You know, Rob, Rob, over here, Rob, yeah. <laughs> Rob, Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic, nice. Then there's um, then there's blue there's blue steel, which is right down the lens. Nice. And then there's man of the people. Oh, which what's is that? My <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's the like, best. Yeah. I think man of the people's really accessible. I think. That is accessible. Yeah. Nice. Not not to say that. You know, I'm, I'm an inauthentic person. I don't want people to think that. No, no. Thing. How about this look? I'm going to hold the camera here. All right, yeah. We're talking, mm -hmm. and then you turn around because somebody calls you, and it's a woman that you had uh, broken up with 10 years ago that you pined over for many, many years. I want you to turn and stay on the camera, mm -hmm. and you we see that moment, and you recognize it, and all those feelings go through your head. Oh, okay, all and of them. And you turn back, and we continue. What feelings on. do we want? Pain, regret, mm -hmm. remorse. Mm -hmm. um, sorrow. No longing, no continued No longing. No, no longing. longing. No longing. Okay, I got you. There we go. <laughs> okay. So By the way, you, you, I may need to have you come actually direct me. It's the best fucking direction I've had in years. Okay. So we're talking and yeah. talking and saying, hey, Rob. Yeah. Anyway, you know, I'm, I'm... Do you know her? Uh, so what? Sorry, guys. God, that was great. Huh? We got it. The? That's a wrap. Huh? That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. So you're an empty nester now, you and your wife. Yeah. How is that? I have to say I was really worried about it going in um, and really sad. And it's yeah. been amazing. But at first, great. when they go off to college, Brutal. it's like painful. Isn't it's it? so sad. I mean, I mean, I wrote a whole, a whole essay about it that gets shared every year online. Yeah. Parents send it to one another, which That's is great. really gratifying. That's something that lives on in that way. Yeah. And when I wrote it, I thought, no one's going to care. I mean, this is something that just happens to everybody, and yet that's exactly why they care. But then after a while, you're happy, and you got all this free time. No, it's amazing. You kind of go, I like you look at your, your wife and you go, I remember you. <laughs> God, I used to really like you. You used to have so much fun. And you get right back at it. You have done so much, man. It's like you, you do you have trouble just stopping and not creating? I do. I, 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 I feel like reinvention is the key to longevity. And I'm always trying to do something new. And, and, and I'm you're doing, doing the one man show now in my, that's my spare right. time. The one man show. And what's it called? It's called Stories I Only Tell My Friends Live. So it's, it has the, the same feel and the same sort of tone and same sort of sense of spirit as the, as the two books I wrote. Yeah. But it's pretty much all new new stuff. And You did pick the, uh, what do they call this light? This is the magic hour. Magic hour. You it's did the magic pick happens. the magic hour, baby. This is where the magic this happens. This is perfect. Are you good with toast? I give hate toast. I hate toast. I will give a speech to anybody. I will talk to anybody. I don't have yeah. stage fright. I'm, just I'm saying. horrible with <laughs> toasting. Too. They me too. fill me with with dread. Why is I that? I don't know. Because it's intimate and it's something you don't say to that person often, I guess. Oh. You a Manny Petty guy? No. How about Manny? Just Manny? I'm not a Manny or a, I'm a Manny Pacquiao guy. Look, for a guy who has his own skincare company, it's like I'm not particularly <clears throat> metro in that way. Yeah. Um, but I do know what it takes to like keep your shit together for many, many, many decades. Do you weigh yourself every day? No. Every half hour. I didn't want to say it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Would you gain a lot of weight for a movie? No. There's no reason to anymore. There's no, there's no reason. It's so first of all, it's so bad for your health. Really bad. Yeah. And um, you can do it with special effects. You can do it with makeup. I, j I just my health is too important to me to do it. By the way, does that make me a bad actor? No. I don't think it does. No. I know some people lose friends for a part, you know, so they can reach that emotional thing. Well, I will yeah. tell you this, that when I visited Tom Cruise on the set of Risky Business, we'd just done The Outsiders together and we're like brothers and it was the, it was the scene, I'll never forget it, we jumped on the Porsche, tried yeah. to keep it from going to Lake Michigan. Yeah, yeah. And, and so after he was done with us, I said, so where are we going to go to dinner tonight? And he goes, oh, we're not, I'm, not, I'm not going to dinner with you. I said, what? I came all the way. Here's his, why? Did, did I do something wrong? He goes, no, no, it's not you. It's just that I'm Joel, and Joel doesn't know you. So that was that. Last time you saw him. Last time I saw him. <laughs> Before we go, I'm going to give you your IQ test. Oh, boy. Okay. One question. Oh. What do you call this building right behind us here? 
I watch a lot of Gilligan's, or no, sorry, uh, Mash. Watch a lot of uh, Gomer Pyle. Gomer Pyle. USMC. Okay. I believe it is called a Quonset Hut. Yes, it's a Quonset Hut. Yes! Yes, right. Oh, that's good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the hiking and chatting skills of Mr. Rob Lowe. And look at this magic hour. He's right, he knows what he's doing. The lighting is perfect. Most of my hikers don't know about the magic hour. We hike in the morning, the light's not good. Rob knows about it. He knows the best conditions. He's got a skincare company. Man, if that doesn't work out, his wife's got a jewelry company. This guy knows what he's doing. Why am I worried about him? I shouldn't be worried about him. Also, we said nothing inappropriate on this hike. Nothing that somebody could, you know, bring up on the red carpet. What about that hike, the inappropriate hike that they did? No, that's not gonna happen unless you guys did something inappropriate, but that's not, you know, my fault. Anyway, thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe and turn on notifications and we will catch you next time. Happy trails.